Monday afternoon, bright and early, gorgeous day here in sunny Southern California. James C. Burns, Sergeant Frank Woods, Call of Duty, a few other things. Welcome to the show. Glad you're here. Uh, yeah, um, I'm really hoping that things are a little more organized this time because we had a hell of a time on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we had huge technical failures. So everything crashed. All the technology crashed on Sunday. It's kind of fun. So we're back. Um, going to talk a lot about Gulf War. I've been really tracking things. I've been getting a lot of phone calls about uh, people questioning, asking me if I'm involved at all. And uh, we'll go over that. And, uh, hey, almost easy. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. And we'll go. I've been looking online. I've been, been tracking a lot of stuff because it does affect me in some weird ways. And I'm not sure. Hey, DK Vargas, how you doing? Yeah, look like hammered shit. I think it looked pretty goddamn good, if you ask me. Uh, hey, Jude. All right, man. Jude, I need to know what you want on your poster. You got to come on. You want to come on and tell me? Or you can come tomorrow during the Streamily thing. I, I'm doing a signing tomorrow on Streamily. Um, yeah, I'll put it if you want to get some. You still have some stuff left over here. I'm out of Funko Pops, but everything else I have. So you want to join us with signing tomorrow, you can... You know, book something out, sign it for you. All right. Well, it's Ohio Skateboarder. Are you new to the channel? Because I would remember you. S seek out zombies. All right. Been a thousand years. Trick Ash. Nice, nice. Lagoshi. Pryocantic. Fire Hazard. Honest. There's some, some new faces here. Glad you're here. Glad you're showing up. Appreciate it. Raiden, um, are you allowed to talk about what happens to Mason during Black Ops 2 in the three years he went missing? Quite frankly, no, because no one knows. I have a theory. Um, I had, there were conversations I had with Dave Anthony uh, prior to Black Ops 4 um, as to what was going on in that circumstance. Um, we were trying to write it in, into Black Ops for a resolution for that time gap. But there wasn't the time or the money to get it done, so I don't know. I don't know what they've got planned. Now, again, I'm not part of the creation team anymore on this thing, so I, I call it. You know, I because I wrote a lot of a lot of Black Ops, I wrote that, all the dialogue in Black Ops Two and all, everything in Black Ops Four. So um, yeah, so I I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how they're gonna. That's why I'm, this was, I've been fascinated because I'm, I think most of the the things I'm seeing online are fan generated. AI, and there's a couple of things I know that are, AI, that are AI generated, so I'm just having uh, some fun with it. Hey, Lord Skywalker, how you doing, man? All right, so you get back to work. How how do you book? Just just come on the show, man. It's a it's a streaming. I'll I'll um I will send I sent you the link. Just come on board. Uh, and that's because it'd be on this channel. So you're already done. You're already done. Yeah. Hot dog. How you doing, dog? Man, good to hear from you. It's been a thousand years, huh? Too long. Way too long. Car hop. How you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Jay Collier. Here's nice. Italian. I love when you guys change your names. I never know who you are. I feel like your new friends, but you're, you know, Italian cheese is a long time, old time American the community. Yeah. You can't peel me. Sure you can. A cute nugget is here. Jim Buffy. Another, another local. I want is a Frank Woods Black and Black Ass and Biblical Reaper back in YouTube. Yeah, we love the Reaper, didn't we? We love Reaper. It's a good man. Henry Gillette. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Birdman. No luck, man. You don't need any luck. All you need to do is stay focused and believe. Remember, you're going to have 
when it gets really hard, and it will get hard. I've seen some of this stuff. Not a Marine, don't know, but I know about going through hard times. And find the smallest piece you can handle. Get that done. And then the next one. Keep one small, one foot, left foot. Sometimes it's one breath, second breath. You got this. You can do this. We're, we're, we're rooting for you. Love you fucking Marines. <laughs> yeah, what, what did happen to the Onion Kid? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, I don't know what that means, but you go ahead, man. Well, that's what I'm curious. There's a lot of things I'm curious about. I've been watching online. Like Black Ops 2 had a huge, huge update. Right, and it's fixed a lot of things. I'm my buddy, uh, Mr. Darlick. He had had a really good um, show on it. And it was just funny. Everyone is now announcing about it. there. There's going to be a reveal for the reveal date, which I think is really funny. Hey, Big Chef, huh? If I consider myself old, no, I don't, man. I feel I, I feel the same way. I thought I was 20 years old. Uh, my knees think I'm old. My shoulder thinks I'm old, but no, I don't think I'm old. I feel great. I bounce around, man. I feel great. I just finished shooting an action film last week. Um, yeah, man. I did uh, six straight 12-hour days, carrying a gun up and down stairs, killing, killing aliens, killing monsters. It was a freaking blast. And it lasted, man. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Played a hockey tournament this winter. No, I'm not fucking old. Anyway. Who else is here? Um, you can't grill me. No, you, yes, you can. I'm going to be grilling tonight, baby. Yeah, Enigma, I, I, it would be fun. I would love to bring him back. I'd love to jump back on. But, yeah, I'm good for it. Um, but we'll see. I mean, there's still a lot of time. There's so many things that ca can happen between now and then. I don't know what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. As of yet, there's been no conversation, so. Marwin. Marwin has a great channel, 141 Podcast. Check him out. He's amazing. Hey, Lagoshi. No, uh, Sam and I were never really uh, close, never friends. We never even been on set together. I recorded my stuff. Uh, the guy who I worked with was um, Andrew Hawks. He played uh, Mason in most of the, the days I worked. He was a utility actor. So he's a great actor. He really made it easy for me. Yeah. The true ending, um, the true ending is, uh, is, uh, the scene where Woods and, uh, where David and where the Masons reunite. Uh, that's what I, you know, again, the, the, there is no real ending. The true ending is that whatever you get to, they, they really wanted to make it, they wanted to make it so that you had consequences for your choices, which is a really great thing to have. And so whatever results you get, I think the best result is when you, when Woods lives and Dave and his dad get to meet each other. That's, that's the best outcome. Hey, suicidal grapefruit. How you doing? Oh, dude. Yeah. I don't feel old at all, man. Uh, I probably not. That's probably a one and done. Uh, unless I talk, I know the guy who basically he did all the hard work, uh, my writing partner on it. Uh, I know he's got no time. I'm really into so many other things. That comic books are hard, man. It is not, and there's, you make no money off it. You make zero freaking money, zero money. It's like you. I lost so much money, but it was fun. But just big loss. Yeah. Classic World War II movies. Uh, the classics for you or for me, because the classics for me are like, uh, you know, Tiger Shark or and these things, it, movies from the 40s and 50s. Um, I think, what's it? Dunkirk is a great movie. Is that, is that a classic? I don't know. I don't know. Can I suggest books for you? Um, what do I have? I just dug out a book. Um, hang on, be right back. Let me see what we can do. So.
Be right back. Okay. So I got, I'm reading a bunch of books. There's one self-help book by Melody Beattie called Codependent No More. Everybody should read this because we are, we are a world that is massively codependent. So I'm reading the shit out of that. I'm reading the book um, about Cary Grant's. That's it right now. That's all I'm into right now. I did not see the eclipse. Uh, so sorry. Yeah. No, the, well, that was uh, that was the fun ending. The true ending is that that was just the Easter egg. If you'd made the right decisions, you got that. That's an Easter egg, yeah. It's not the actual ending. It's an Easter egg. Great question. I don't know what I'm really curious, and I haven't I haven't posted anything off the internet or any. And he, again, I have nobody left over. I have nobody to kind of poach information from. Um, I can conject. I can project what they may go after, but I don't know what they're going to do. I have no clue how they're going to make. I don't know how Woods is going to be part of the. Is Woods going to be part of the Cold War thing? I've been looking at. Want to look at some of the articles with me? Because some of the articles are saying that. Yeah, uh, and, and some of the articles have Woods with a gray beard. Interesting, right? Yeah, car hop. I mean, well, that was a big conversation that I remember having with Dave a lot. They, we actually had seven. They had written seven outcomes for that, but the technology we could only handle three. But we had several other um, endings that we shot, and we never um, could, could not get included. But I remember shooting uh, at least four. There's three that stuck, but there's four, right? Anyways, yeah, nice tea. Vargas, let's see. He has older daughters. Who knows, man? Man, who knows? I don't know. Yeah, Kamar, Kamar passed. It was it was just a just a freaking tragedy. He died on Christmas Eve. I was I was uh God, and interesting you brought that up because I was cleaning my phone. You know how you go through your phone and you I want to. Some days you just get that you get a raging urge to get your phone just squared away. I was going through all my hundreds of of uh, text messages. I try not to save text messages, and I he's I got his. He's still on there. I, I haven't deleted it yet. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm a little I'm not ready to, not ready to let go of that. I have my mom's here too. So my mother who died in 2019. So I have those on my phone still. Just you know, there's certain things that I'm not ready to let go. I'm not ready to let go. Come on. In fact, I have lunch with Dave tomorrow. I think we're both really kind of feeling because Kamar and me and Dave Anthony, who created, we'd have like one big cranking dinner. Like every every four months, we get together, just have this. It's the big night, you know, and uh, it's just Dave and I now. So it's it's different. It's different. Uh, have I ever seen two tombstones? I have. It's a good movie. Uh, life's, life is freaking amazing, man. I feel great. You know, I just finished a movie, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of great young actors, good young director. Um, I'm up for another film. I'll find out that it shoots, uh, towards the end of the month. Uh, another action film. Um, yeah, the, uh, the film I just did is called Stork and it's part of the VHS series. So it's, it's, it's really good. It's a, give me a good, give me a good project. It's fun. Um, then what else am I doing? I get my signing tomorrow. Um, I start recording again this week. I got a couple of, had to scrap all my old recordings and start new. It, it was old. It was, it was old and I was too much ego and too much vanity involved. So I had to get, had to change. So I'm great, man. I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm flying along. Great question. Favorite workout. Um, I have a full blown gym in my in my garage. I have, you know, it's, it's gym quality. It's professional quality stuff. But I'm really moving towards more body weight stuff, more full body movement things, and a lot of uh, yeah, I'm moving towards body weight. The weights just seem to keep hurting me. I keep hurting myself, and maybe that's because my um, 
I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm I'm really doing a lot of body weight work, and it feels great. It feels I feel a lot of self pliability, you know. Geek Defense Initiative. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do next. I'm really curious. Hey, and I did not look at the sun today. I was, uh, what was I doing? I was in here. I had a big day. I had a bunch of cameos to shoot. I had to go to the bank. I, I changed it. I changed my company name. It's no longer Ice Water Productions. It's now the Burns Company or Burns Co. And so I have a lot of response in taxes. So it's just, it's all been the last, the weekend. I've been working all week. Um, the weekend was just about reset. I was, I was exhausted, you know, come, coming home at midnight, going to work at eight in the morning. It's an hour drive each way. We're shooting at this great uh, location on Pomona. This old 150 year old house. And it's just kind of, I swear, it, I, it has to be haunted because it's just so, just so, yeah. Great, great experience. Okay. So, yeah, this weekend I was just about re uh, recovering, and now it's about taxes. And then, uh, you know, on to the next thing. Ronan. Hey, Ronan, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Hey, you see, God's on the track. Better bring you back to Voice Woods. Same with you guys, same guy. <laughs> Hey, can't control that, man. I uh, appreciate the support. Um, don't know. Uh, really not my, I don't get my, uh, I don't get my undies in the bunch about that. You know. And hey, Michelle, glad you stopped by, as always. Again, you just don't know what they got planned. No one knows. I, I don't know what they got going on. I know that Treyarch, I read that Treyarch has shifted into uh taking more over taking taking more of the responsibility for the game i just read that we're gonna go through some articles i want you to see what you guys think about this stuff um well in the 90s if you if he was in his mid 30s in the 60s by the 90s he's got to be 60 he wouldn't be in a wheelchair yet yeah he would have been um by 2025 he's going to be 100 years anyways if you look at Wood's timeline, it really makes some interesting jumps, interesting leaps, you know. But it's a, it's all fantasy, so you got to make some certain adjustments to. Okay, just let it happen, let it, you know. Just like you know, shooting a, a grenade with a with a, a longbow wouldn't happen, man. I don't know if you tried it. We've experimented with it. It does. This drops. You can't. The longbow won't shoot a grenade. So there's things that are just fantasy. And leading that way. Uh, yeah, sure. I can sure. I can give you all kinds of details about it. Just got to ask me. Be asked for specifics. I can't just talk about it. Just I mean, I can talk about it. But if you have questions, I'll answer them. We wouldn't have to. Liquid tank. Man, I miss you guys. I really miss playing with you guys. Yeah, I, I haven't been on. I jumped on Outbreak like last week for like an hour. But that was. I don't have the energy for it. Yeah. I know. I'm glad you're busy. Is that right? Sorry to hear that, man. That's, you know, when you deal with grim stuff, that's the time to reach out to your community, right? When, you, when you're dealing with grim things, that's when you find your people, you know, so... I hope that you find people on this community because it's a good community. Yeah, I, if I'm not really doing that right now, these those kind of shows anymore. Um, I'm sure I was going to do a show a couple weeks ago with uh, with Barry and a few other guys, but we had some technical issues, so I kind of it didn't happen. But um, yeah, you know. Let's see. Did you like the story, dudes? Like Dave and Goya have any like, what story talks? Like, oh yeah, all the time. I mean, you, you don't do a character like Woods. That's he's so in, he's so complicated, integrated. 
with the story without having to understand, okay, why am I doing this? And how does this move us forward? And what's going to happen next? So every every time I go in there and talk to Dave, which is like, you know, once a week for how many years, you know, we talk story. We talk, oh, what is happening? How do we fix? We have a hole here. Woods died in Black Ops 1. How do we bring him back? And that took me a while to figure out. But we did it, you know. And so we had a couple other ideas. How did Woods end up inside that that um, that box, right? And there's a lot of theories on it, but there's I don't think there's any any written canon about that. Uh, and it, it, you know what? It doesn't matter because the minute another company takes over, they're going to have their own writers. They're going to put their own their own slick on it, right? So when Raven took over the Black Ops story, it became a whole other thing. Yeah, still carried it. You know, it became like a, a you know a, another version of, of Black Ops. In an alternate universe, Black Ops. Yeah, that is a great, great outcome. Well, how, dog, the, the knees are good. I played, a, actually, I played in the tournament, hockey tournament up in Massachusetts. Yeah. And my knees were fine, but in my, I blew out a hamstring and blew out a groin muscle. It's great. Like, you know, my, I, I have been, I backed off uh, explosive activity for so many years that my body just is not used to it. And I just can't help the impulse of, you know, want to get something done. And when I do that, I usually you know, pull a muscle. That's why I got to do more body weight work, more stretching, more mobility things. Yeah. Hey, Makra, I'm just going to go through a couple of uh, articles. I'm just talking right now. I'm going to go through some articles here that. Like here's one. This is interesting that this will, you know, talk, talk a lot about mechanics and the technical stuff about the game. But look what the, the chief features are. You have Woods, Ghost, and you have, uh, what's his name? Ad so, yeah. So obviously there's, I mean, again, but this is, we don't know if this is a rendering by, a, by the studio or if this belongs to somebody who's uh, writing it, you know. What's this saying? Um, there's been a lot of rumor around the corner regarding the newest installment of the franchise, Call of Duty Black Ops Go For. Treyarch has already shifted his focus to this title, leaving all the remaining Modern Warfare Zombies work to Sledgehammer Games. That means the game is going to get very special. But why is that? As per leaks and rumors, this is the article. Call of Duty Black Ops Go, Go For is going to be an absolutely new experience for the fans. The game is going to be a lot different from the other COD titles and will have overhauled movement mechanics as well as some other new features. There you go. And what else we got here? Now here's what I find interesting. They use they use all the old artwork from Black Ops One for most of these ads. Now, who's using it? Is it is it Activision or is it somebody else? Here's another one. Look at this is uh, sitting. This is from Black Ops One, right? Now, who is? Now, this is all Mark, Microsoft now owns Call of Duty. You know that, right? You guys, did you know that Microsoft, so Xbox is gonna? So there's rumors that um, there's rumors that. They're back. They're backloading all the games to fit onto Xbox. Um, I think I. I think I saw. Um, I think I saw where Black Ops One is 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 Black Ops One being reissued or updated. So here's this is again this is says somewhere that Black Ops 2 remastered is confirmed. But who's con confirming this? You know, let's look at this. Who's confirming this stuff? So Charlie Intel says that Black Ops Call of Duty 20 is reported set to be a direct sequel to Black Ops 2, set in the near future of 2030. So it's gonna be 
can be right at this. But isn't that interesting? But that's that was that was a year ago. That was almost a year ago. This December nineteenth. That was like maybe four months ago. So they're saying that black apps, the new the new Call of Duty 20, 2025, I don't know. It's hard to keep track of any of these rumors. I just can't. And Charlie Intel is pretty much um, liable, you know. I mean, I, I've talked, we've been kind. And I go online, right, and I start, it's all like, it's all, all the new, all the Gulf War art is either um, AI generated or it's from um, Cold War. Look at this. See, it's all Cold War. And there's Woods, Cold War. Yeah, there's Woods. I mean, is that, do you see this Woods here? Is that even from anything or is that just AI generated? I think that's an AI generated um, image. What do you guys think? Let me catch up here. A J Jim Bolte, yeah. Oh, uh, thanks. Appreciate that. We're just kind of having fun here, scrolling through the internet, seeing what's out there. Let me catch up to this feed here. See what you guys are saying. Yeah. Hey, hey, Liz, y'all. It it does. It, all of it looks AI. So I, when I read these things, I don't give a lot of credence to them. Like, go for global review, DK Dynamite. You know, um, but I don't think anything. Hey, Zach Gaming, how you doing? I don't think anything is been generated yet from the studio. I just don't think it has. Hey, James. Well, I... I want to play Black Ops 1. I can't. I have to actually go out and buy a uh, PS3 now so I can play it. I have a PS3 version left over. Um, but I want to play it. I haven't played it. It's not anywhere. You know? That sucks that they, uh, they kill it that way for us. So, yeah, I think I read a rumor that they are. Re I can't remember where I saw it. I read a rumor that they are going to hopefully. Make Black Ops once available for the new Xbox. I, I swear I see that. I just saw that. I'm I'm doing a search to see if I can find that Black Ops for. for new Xbox. I, Black Ops for new Game Pass. Well, that's the theory. It's why they're upgrading all this stuff. Is that you know they're going to make the Game Pass, and it makes sense if you're going to do you know, you can, if you could package together all the Black Ops games into one Game Pass. Wouldn't that be interesting? All of the old Call of Duty games and COD 2024 Black Ops Gulf War will be releasing day one on the Xbox Game Pass. Phil Spencer has said that Treyarch's new Black Ops is planned for an October release date this year, slightly on the early side for Call of Duties, and that they intend for it and all Activision Blizzard first party games to launch on the Xbox Game Pass day one. Phil Spencer also said they are still working on getting all of the old COD games on the Xbox Game Pass, and that's their intention, but first they have to do some further updates to fix these games. They actually just released a new patch to Black Ops 2 to fix the theater mode and implement Last year, they also fixed a load of issues in old COD games after the acquisition, such as Modern Warfare 1 to 3, Black Ops 1 and 2, World of War, and more. It seems that once all of the bugs and hacking issues are completely ironed out from these past games, that's when they'll be added. Yeah, so that's where I heard it. So this happened. That, that is, that they're going to try to have the next box took over. They want to give you guys the whole line, which is great, great thinking. Like having your own network, you know, have a Call of Duty network.
Yeah, I agree. A lot of it's clickbait, but you know. Yeah, that's that's my point too. Is that nothing's been re I don't hear anything from Activision or or Microsoft because think how big think how big Microsoft is. So they must have something. You know, I'm sure they have something really exciting lined up. You haven't been here in two years. Wow. Wow. That, that's that's been a while. We've been doing that that long. Yeah, it is the game. We, this game. Hey, Lightning Bolt, how are you? Let's see. Wouldn't that be interesting? Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what. I don't know what there, if there's any plan at all for Black Ops uh, for 2025. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know. Again, you know, I, I, have, I have a meeting. I have some meetings this week. I'll know a lot more about the future at the end of this week. So, yeah. It's going great, Zacher. It's going great. Got the, got the cops come down the street. Hide a little bit. You know, got my brick wall behind me. You know. Well, I think they know me. I think they know where to find me. I my agent is pretty much in the pocket there, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. Uh, if they want if they want me, they I'm easy to find. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should be proactive. Maybe. Um, I'm on PlayStation. I have a I do a PlayStation Four. I don't play enough to, to buy a better game. Let's see. If would it would be disabled again, that's the thing. It's you know, it's fantasy. You know, we don't know. He had his knees blown. Oh, he had his knees blown off when in uh in the 80s. Yeah, he would be. I don't know. I again, I, I'm curious to see what they do with the Woods character if they bring him back at all. You know. Hey, Wolfie, how you doing, man? Good talking to you. Good to see you. Too precious to use. There's some things that need to be left in the vault, and I agree. Well, I think about Apple, Apple products, right? Apple has got it within, I, I predict that within five or six years, you will not be able to use non Apple um, generated content on Apple products. Because I know in Hollywood, they've, they've got, they're producing content now. They got their own TV, they have their own uh, uh, streaming service. So I got a feeling there's going to be a lot going. I mean, there's going to be a lot of competition for your, for your eyeballs and your dollars. And, and also going to be a lot of restrictions you watch are going to be things you can't. Get on your certain phones, and you know that already exists. Right? There's things you can't get on certain phones and certain platforms. Yeah. Fucking love that, dude. Paying attention to your attention, man. That is that is the crux. That is the core of everything, isn't it? Because what I pay, t what I focus on, where I, I where I put my attention, the thing I think about becomes my belief, and that belief becomes momentum. I, I love what you're doing. I love it. Yeah. One day we may find out. One day we may know. I don't know right now. Don't know what happened. Actually, I have a – shit, I think I'm doing a Halo convention this summer. I did an I did an episode of a Halo channel and I had a great time and I I played a little bit of Halo and I fucking love Nexus I love Halo I just love it
rare earth elements. We need them. China's got them. Now it's fixed. Like, guy's a goddamn vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good day. There's a whole video on that down below if you want to watch it. It's a whole great video. All right, let's, let's do some more research here. Hang on. All right, the next Call of Duty game. This is a comic book. Uh, they're just, it's funny how they're all reporting it on the Insider Gaming article. They're all just reporting. It's like that's how this stuff happens. Here's, in, here's the Insider Gaming article. Let me read that for you. See, this is where everybody, everyone seems to be quoting the inside insider gaming, and uh, they're pretty they're they're pretty legitimate. They 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 really Call of Duty Golf Call of Duty Black Ops Golf War to be featured at Xbox Showcase in June. Sure, it's been a while, twenty four hours. Tom Warren at the Verge report. He's now there. An insider is reporting that this guy Tom Warner at The Verge is reporting. So let's go Let's go to The Verge and see Tom Warren at The Verge. You got to track this stuff down to the source, right? So we're at The Verge uh, Entertainment. Maybe another way to search this. But that's what I mean. You get, let's track it down to the source, see who's saying what about what. So, all right, Tom Warren at The Verge. We'll go here. No. All right, Tom Warren, Verge. So uh, Tom Warren is the uh, senior editor for The Verge. He previously founded Win Rumors, a site dedicated to Microsoft News, before joining The Verge. So isn't that an interesting connection? He used to work for Microsoft. Call of Duty. But he's just talking about the uh, about them blocking, um, trying to prevent the sale of Act of Activision of uh, Activision to Microsoft. Huh. Anyways, that's interesting. So even there's even this is not a firsthand source, right? But go forward to be released in October. It will be an open world campaign developed by Raven. Yeah. Multiplayer and zombies to be handled. So basically the. Uh, so we, we'll, we'll, know in, we'll know in June what's going on. All right. What are you going to do? All right. Moving on. Moving on. President Trump. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I am not into horror films. I've made a lot of them. I am not a fan. I'm, I can't, getting grossed out and scared is not something I enjoyed anyways. I did, The Thing is amazing. Great horror film. The Shining is great. Uh, slash and gore films, but the, the, but real cerebral horror films like The Shining, it, it's good stuff. The Thing was great. The Fly was, you know, The Fly. I won't get rid of this thing. Well, that was, well, again, nothing there. Nothing, no news there. No news there.
what do I think of the? I think the zombie story is fucking brilliant. It's like I, I, I begged, I pleaded to put me into the, put me into it. Give me, let, let me in. Let Burns do those zombies. <laughs> Never happened. Well, it's not. It's it's not quite that way. Um, they used. I was there from these meetings. Actually, they used a lot of uh, think tank people, people who were in these. Uh, Really smart folks who try to establish trends and you know project what the next problem, what the next move is going to be, and so a lot of these, a lot of what you're seeing is, you know, using drones as this predatory battle uh, um, tool. It's now it's now happening. You know, it's 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 what we it's, and maybe not to the extent that I'm in Black Ops two, but it's happening. And the conflicts with China are there, and you know all this. All these things seem to be happening. They are not predicted, but these are possibilities. There are always possibilities and probabilities. What are the possibilities? You find the possibilities, and they say, okay, what, what's the probability set of this happening? And so they they wrote they wrote Black Ops Two uh, along. What are some of the probable? What are the possible ramifications of certain um, patterns? You know, what, you know, this is happening, so you can maybe extrapolate that might happen. And this, and then you say, what's the probability of this particular course of events um, coming to fruition? And that's you know, so that's what you're seeing now. Yeah. yeah, when people write stuff, they don't just make it up. They they get research. It's called research. Yeah, they're in, they're far and few between. I got one. I have one um, original post. I have one Black Ops Four poster that's in pretty good shape. All right, Raven King, great to see you. Glad you're here, man. Come back. I'll be here. I, I'm here tomorrow um, doing a signing for Streamily um, at four o'clock. So I'll be back here tomorrow. If you guys want to come in, check and check the show. It'll be great to see you again. The face cam setup. Yeah, well there you go. Gerard, how you doing, buddy? All right, Ohio Skater, thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Tornado Alley. Tucker, I mean, that's, again, it was all written... You know, it was all it was all written from actual stories and really, really insightful people giving recommendations to the writers over over at Treyarch. You know, I like I saw Saints and Soldiers. I like that film. It was pretty good. All right, Wolfie, get out of here, man. Take care. Uh, yeah, I'm around, man. Peace and love. Wolf out. See you, man. Yeah, I'm only on for another 15 minutes, anyways. I think we're already in a civil war. I, I think it's already started. I think it's just a non-shooting war. I think that the lack of ability for anyone to have a conversation. Like if you if you're a Trump supporter, people go absolutely apeshit. It's like I, I it's it's I don't it's really hard to understand. Like what how do you hate someone so much? Well he did uh, yeah, but look at Clinton. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe he said this thing that he had some locker room talk that got caught, you know, on a tape. But look at Clinton. He had he took advantage of a young girl in the in the Oval. I mean he literally had sex in the Oval Office. Literally had sex in the Oval Office. But yet he is seen as this hero and he, they, they treat Trump like this fucking piece of like he's he's villain. And I'm not a you know, I, I'm 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 not apolitical, but I, I just like common sense. And the shit they're doing in, in, in New York with this real estate, it, 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 again, it, there's just so there's so many. It's just it's visceral now. People just really are gonna it, they're gonna start making shit up to because they hate me. And you know, and it goes both ways too. I mean, the shit they do, the the, the conservatives say about again. I'm hoping for a peaceful resolution to our <laughs> internal conflict.
Yeah, that's the, yeah. Have you seen those videos about the, the the drone? See, I don't know if that's a real video. If that's manufactured, that's a problem too. I don't know if that's an actual event. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust what I see anymore at all. Yeah, they are using drones. Well, they don't have to be smart. They got somebody controlling them, so it doesn't have to be AI in particular. And we don't know what. It, I mean, I saw a thing where um, some guy some. TED Talk, and some guy had a, a, a drone, and it was reactive. Okay, it's it kind of like you, if you had to grab it, it would move, you know. And it, it again, it was just there's there's stuff that we just don't see every day that was probably already happening. One of the best songs ever, American Pie. All right, Ronnie, get some sleep, man. Glad you're back. We'll be back here. We'll be back here tomorrow at four o'clock, and then again Saturday morning. All right, man. See you then. Ah, uh, tornado. Thanks, man. Always appreciated. Always appreciated. Go out and buy myself an iced tea. Thank you, man. Information wars. Yeah, there you go. Is that true? I don't know. I just know that everybody I know who's a guy has and went to eat. You get a bunch of guys together alone on a golf course or in a locker room, and there's no women around. We all descend to the lowest, you know, not we, to this version of ourselves that's really uber aggressive. You get around any kind of jock, any type of anybody who's got some influence or power. There's always this base behavior. I guarantee you, the Kennedy brothers talk trash. I guarantee you, Clinton talked trash. When he's hanging with his boys, everybody talks trash. Women talk trash so much worse than men. I recorded this shit. So it's, to take that, take a private conversation, and then use that to label somebody. It's like, that's, well, that's it's not who you are in private. It's what you do in public that counts, how you treat the world, you know? Yeah, I've seen what happened in Brazil. I do. I, 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 I just my heart goes out. To, I see again. I don't know how much of that's true, but what I'm seeing in Brazil is uh, this. You have a new prime minister, right? He's doing things. Well, that's the problem. All you do, the global media just shows um, a really horrendous. You know, it shows a victim and, and a perpetrator, and anybody who's not on the side of the current administration is a, is a, is the perpetrator. Yeah, I don't mind. You know, what's gonna? There's nothing. There's very. I'm I'm basically retired, and there's nothing that can be done to me really. So I'm you know. Well, it's if you if you track me in Darwin over the years, I used to be very, very much like trying to calm him down, get him back to the middle. I was, I was really much on the, I was more on the, uh, the I don't say liberal, but the progressive side of things, right? And slowly, that that whole thing came and pushed me to the to the middle, then to the right. I, I always try to be in the middle, but now I'm like, no, I'm like I gotta, you know. And I gotta explain the you know, explain the the conservatives to people who are just you know bitches hate. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's a strange place to be right now. But Darwin Darwin has no problems lighting things up at all. Hey, Teutonic Knight, I'm well, thanks. I'm I'm good, man. I'm just like I said, just sitting here checking in with you folks, talking a little talking a little bit about um, what I've been reading about the new Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War, and there's really nothing new to report. I'm just marking that I see a lot of Black Ops 1. Um, I got this one here. A lot of Black Ops 1 uh, artwork. This is actually, um, I think this is from the metal case version of it, right? Yeah, that's the metal case version of Black Ops 1. Anyways, it's just tracking to see if, you know, what I can find. Anything that's real. 
and unfortunately, it's all uh, it's all second. It's all second. Activision and and Treyarch have not said a word, so no one knows. Yeah, I saw you guys had quite a vote, a vote, Ryan, huh? You guys, uh, yeah, again, I only see what they let me see online. What I, I see a lot of videos of young Irishmen uh, taking up um, stance against uh, the, the behave, bad behavior of immigrants. And uh, I don't know how much, how pervasive that is. Is there a lot of that? Or is it just a couple isolated incidents where it gets exaggerated and blown out of proportion. So I don't know what the state of that is, but I do know you had a, a massive referendum. I know in France you're going to have that as well. You know? I agree. They should. <laughs> They'd be smart if they did. You know, they'd be smart. I, I could tie I could tie this thing together for them in a way that'd be really great. But you know what? Not my call. Where where's your, where do you live? What country are you in? Well, I, again, the, this is where it gets really, really upsetting is like we it's not only the impact it has on on the economy and especially in the border communities but you're bringing people here who don't have an opportunity who will never get an opportunity to actually grow into something because they're going to be isolated in these small they're so busy they're going to be these small communities they're going to be isolated they can't be absorbed into the into the culture so the, that means they're just going to take their culture and land it here and recreate the culture they left, which was failing, or they wouldn't come here. You see, up like in, I, well, I saw something. This, this guy was talking about the death to America, and he's in, he's in, he's in America, and he's sitting and like, how does how do you you bring your 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 failing culture here? But you we don't have the capacity to absorb millions of people at once. If you have you know you get a million people, you can absorb maybe a thousand readily and easily it's like it's there's no effort at all you retrain them give them opportunities but you have a million people and you bring in five hundred thousand, like or, or two hundred thousand. that's that's a big ask and now you're now you're taking resources from a, a part of the population that needs it so it's not just that so you get the resentment and there's there's not enough resources for these people to survive you know it, where they're being treated poorly because it's no resources and I don't, and I don't see any famous Hollywood people opening their houses up to people. And you know, the ones who are really saying we should get them. Well, wait a minute. You have Barbara Streisand. You got you got forty rooms. That's that's forty families. You know, I want. You know, when people start talking about doing this stuff, like they should start doing it. Not, you know, what I'm saying there's just this there's this thing that we're not doing anybody any any favors by bringing them here and dumping them into a. A tent, you know, a tent city someplace. How are they going to assimilate? How are they going to get a job? How are they going to function? They don't have English skills. They don't have, you know, market. Manual labor is going to become almost unrequired in the next five or six years. Now, what are they going to do? And that's where I just, it's kind of inhumane what's happening to the people coming in. You're in Serbia. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? Is it three years? I hope so. I didn't know that. Can you send me a copy of it? I'd love. To, can you send me a link? I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Um, for me or for Woods? For me, that'd be. I mean, I don't know. Well, that makes you think, man. What, what, what is the point? What is happening? Why are these governments actively encouraging these individuals to come in, and then there's not the the will, the political will, or the the resources to care for them properly? 
So there's no, it makes no sense. I mean, there's like, what are you going to do? Take money from people who are already struggling? Because you know the rich fuckers aren't going to do it, right? So it's just the working class people are going to pay the bills here again, as, as they always do. And you're taking resources from people who kind of need it. You know, the economy in the U.S. is not good as, as much as our politicians lie to us about it. I know a lot of folks are struggling. Prices are way high. So now you're bringing this new group to d- take more demand on resource, more the economics don't make sense here. What is the what is the point? What are you trying to achieve? You know. Well, that's what they're saying here too. That if we have these density, you, you drop them all in one area, get them to vote one way, or become you know the, the census now becomes a case where you have different votes. Yeah, yeah. I I'm, I. I promise I would get too riled up about what's going to happen here. No, not at all. Look, it's it's it. Look, at, we had things in place. Uh, the last administration had the border shut down, basically build a wall. It was all we, you know, hate. I call him up. Trump had a policy. He had a plan. It things. It was working. And the first week, he you know, the Biden administration they stripped away all those. They stripped away all that stuff. They, they sold off all the parts for for, a, for for pennies on the dollar for all the materials they built to build the wall. They sold that shit off and they shut down the pipeline. So I'm like, you know, that's. Yeah, I was just downtown LA today, and I they they move. You know, it's like a, there's this place I used to go down there to shop for products, and uh, it used to be inundated. You know, with, with homeless. I used to carry a gun because it's so bad. Now it's like it's all it's not clean, but there's no homeless. And I drive down towards the residential areas, and they're just packed in there, walking down the streets and sleeping in the streets, and they just move them from area to area. And they they fall by these cleanup crews, you know, and they spray all this stuff into the ocean. And it's, it's, yeah, it's, and are these people there by design? Most of them are drug addicts. Most of them are hammered out. So do we, what, do we put them in an institution to dry out? Is that humane or let it, is it, you know, their right to live on the street? Is the choice? Those are the questions we got to be talking about, not the politics of, it's, it gets politicized and no, nothing is nothing changes, you know. I think the, the Mexican economy is doing well. The problem is that I think the, the government and the military are owned own and run by the uh, cartels. And I know it's seeping up this way. The Mexican economy is fine. They got they got in, they have a lot more manufacturing developing. They have modern matter manufacturing happening there more than we have here. So they're doing fine. They're the next 10, 20 years, they're going to be a an up and coming economic power. Um, but I, I think they're doing fine. I just the idea is that how do we uh how do we get manufacturing back in the US? Yeah, it's happening all over. It makes you wonder, whoa, who is who's benefiting from all this? Sure as hell aren't the people being imported. The immigrants aren't benefiting. They're being mistreated and, you know, sort of be, being cast aside as secondary citizens and, and second class individuals. But yeah, a lot of people are. That's a, that's a that's a fair it's a fair uh, comment. I think. But remember, um, the arbitrage of, of fiat, of money, has very little to do with how the economy is going. That is, that's a game that's like stocks. Most stocks do not represent the value of a company. They represent, the, it's like a, it's like gambling now. You know, people are, you know, you get computers looking for a fraction and drive the price up and down. The company could be doing well, but if the, if the stock price is being manipulated, you know, it could be crushed because the it, it's not about back in the day. You you, you invest in a company that had you know good financials and they're solid. They had like they they made a product that you knew about and 
you trust it. Now it's like it's that gambling. You know, I, I'm 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 to blame for it. I had the things I invest in. I barely know what they are. Oh, this is a trending stock. I'll get in there for, you know, uh, for a percentage point or two, then take a quick profit off of it. That drives the price up or drives it down. And everyone decides to cash out. Like with Bitcoin, you know, it gets up to 72000 People just cash out and it drops $10,000 in, in three minutes. That's, that's more the issue, I think, with Mexico. But I think their economy in terms of manufacturing is really strong. Plus, think of all the food we import from Mexico. All the, yeah, there's... All right, let's go. Good to see you. Brother, it, it's not racist to say that you're questioning why are they bringing people in that they can't, they are not, they cannot be absorbed easily. You know, like it's immigration is a great thing, but it has to be humane. It's, it can't be just having people walk a thousand miles across treacherous territory, you know, being raped and pillaged by, yeah, it's like, that's, it can't be that. It's got to be organized and so you absorb these people and you know, really take care of them when they get here. You can't take care of, it's an invasion. You can't take care of millions of people at once without damaging the host. It's like a virus. You know, you, 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 you can take in a little bit of, of bacteria. You can let some, oh my God, get blasted for this. But, you know, a, 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 a cell can defend itself, but if it gets overwhelmed, it sucks all the resources out of it. And that's what's happening, I think. Too many people are being left behind on this. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's way above my pay grade. <laughs> yeah, um, of course, when you start taking money out of people's pockets and you and and people, I mean, you gotta understand too. You bring you bring a culture in that doesn't agree with the same cultures that the, the culture is coming into, and then they they're all instead of being, you know, saturated. You take one immigrant, and you put around ten or twenty people who are who are natives, they will assimilate. But if you get you know ten or twenty you know immigrants and you put them around ten or twenty other natives, they're gonna feel they don't, they want to assimilate. They're gonna resist. Because change is hard. Change is uncomfortable. It forces you to work. It forces you to learn. And when you do that, when you don't have a reason, like, oh, why? We're all, we're all, we're powerful. We can have a group here. That's when the problem starts. Now, that culture is, is, is getting a beachhead. And it's going to be in conflict with the existing culture. Who's who's right? Well, you got to go with the, the existing culture. If not, because that's now an invasion. You're trying to change the host culture. So that you know, that's really where I see it happening. That you you, you bring in so many people, they have their own block of influence, own, and, and they want to have their lifestyle there because it, it's too hard to assimilate unless you're totally wrapped up and absorbed in it. Yeah, well, that's a problem too because now the stress on the on the on the medical system is tremendous. What did you click? It didn't work. What did you click? Good question. We're, we're trying so hard not to be Nazis that we become Nazis. That's an interesting point. That's an interesting point. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So tomorrow I'll be back. Let me, let me find out. Let me find this thing for you guys. Um, I want to get you here. So you want to come by tomorrow and talk? We'll be here tomorrow talking. My cameo link just it says just uh, James C. Burns. Just go to cameo and type in James C. Burns. It's it's there. Yeah, yeah. I have again, like I said, I changed my 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 corporation name. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Mohammed. I'm actually I'm I'm taking that note right now. Uh, fix cameo link. Thanks, Mohammed. I appreciate that. 
Yeah. Well, that's the thing, though. I mean, when you look back at World War II, Berlin, the, the, the Germans were defeated. They were there withdrawing. And we dev we, def we we had decimated most of were bombing. We, it, you know, civilians were, were killed in, in the millions in Russia. Civilian, millions of civilians. Now, granted, Stalin did most of that, but you know, it was war is a brutal fucking thing. You know, it's brutal. That's why this whole thing in the Middle East is kind of you. you it's, it's it's you've got to really look strongly at what's happening. It's a freaking war. You know, and you, and, and uh, you, how do you end the war? How do you end it? You know, you can't just tell one side to stop punching. It's like a fight, right? You know, I, I, as a hockey player, you, there's, you get in a fight, right? And if the referee grabs you and the other guy kept fighting, he gets you, you know, you your head hit. Happened to me once or twice, you know? you know. Referee grabs me, the guy just gives you a you know, sucker punch. That's kind of what happens, you know, if you, in the Middle East, you pull one, one side off, the other side keeps going. All of a sudden, it's well. Now you just come back with more vengeance, and it's always resolutions have to happen with two sides. You got to have two sides of the equation working on. I think it's my opinion. Exactly, Hamburg decimated. I mean, architecture and art and, and history going back hundreds of years destroyed. So much German culture destroyed from that in the during the war. You know, yes, it's horrible. Tucker, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I mean, it, 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 there is no, there is no, there is no simple way. Yeah, and that's why so many. <clears throat> You know, and if you're a soldier and, and, and some civilian walks up, some pe peaceful civilian walks up and shoots your buddy, now you're going to be pissed. That's how it happens. Both sides have got to choose to disengage. And it's tough because if you lose a, a family member, you want revenge, you know, and that's all that matters to you. And if you lose a friend, you want revenge. And this is it's a revenge war. It's revenge, revenge. revenge. And revenge just goes on forever. There's no, until you run out of people. You know, or, or people decide that, oh, you know, I think living in peace is more important than, you know, uh, finishing my vengeance. And it, we're far from that right now. You, you're going to, there's going to be a lot of people die before each says, you know, I think enough people have died. Let's stop this. You know, but both sides, both sides, you can't demand one side, give up. You know, both sides have to find a way to make it safer. Uh, oh, for Christ's sakes, no. T-bone steak. I think that's called Delta Force, isn't it? Yeah. Every day, man. Every day, sit down. It doesn't matter how you pray. Just sit down, take a moment, figure out who you want to be that day, right? I love that. Nice. All right. It's, uh, it is now 10 after, um, it's 10 after. And I'm going to find out why my, uh, my cameo is not thinking. Hang on. Ooh, I got some, Ooh, I got a voicemail. I got to answer that. Hmm. All right. Anyways, I'm going to call quits at, in 15 seconds. Great for stopping by. I'll be back here. I'll be back here tomorrow at um, 4 p.m. Just signing. There's still stuff available on Streamly. The uh, the link, you just go to streamlyjmc.com or go to um, go to go on to Twitter. I'll be broadcasting that. So come on over. There's still stuff available. Um, they were really good at getting it delivered fast. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody. Have a great one. It is now 110. I am over and done. And let's say, uh, what do we say? Woods out. Peace and love.